These two officers, Kettler and Watts, took it upon themselves to decide the fate of Kathy's little six-year-old boy, Mark. Instead of waiting for an ambulance, they manhandled Mark down ten flights of stairs and drove him at excessive speeds, unsecured to the hospital. If, by the grace of God, Mark survives this ordeal, he may have permanent physical damage. And who will take care of him? Will these officers feed him and clothe him? Pay for his constant medical care? That is why today we are filing a $50 million lawsuit against the police department and both officers Watts and Kettler, so that this will never again happen to another little boy. At least we know where Kathy is now. She's on the gravy train. I know that lawyer, Elliot Buell. He was probably just waiting at the hospital for a chance to talk to her. I took my eye off her for a minute. Now on top of a possible criminal trial, the union's got a lawsuit to defend. <laughs> oh, will the happiness never end? Well, the good news and the bad news is that he usually doesn't take it all the way to court, which means he'll settle, probably five million. It's usually about as low as he goes. Yeah, but you put a million in legal fees on top of that, it's going to be six to the union, which we don't have. Abby St. James. Hello, Elliot. Speak of the devil. Just saw you on TV. Yes, we do need to talk. I'm going to need a shower after this. OK, we'll be right back. You up all that money I gave you? I know, I know. You're pissed, right? Pissed? No. Not even disappointed. Disgusted, maybe. I'm sorry, Frank. Yeah, that's you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, I'm not sorry. You lied to me. Those cops are the ones that hurt my son. They saved his life, Kathy. Cops don't save anybody. They hurt people like me. You know what? That's enough. You've always gotten as much as you gave with me. You're just different. Anyways, you're not a cop no more. Hey, did you see me on TV? Yeah, I saw you on TV. How'd I look? The same. You always look the same. Like you're back on the streets. They can dress you up, but you're still a whore for money. Frank, it's the only way for me to keep my son, OK? If, if, if I have money, they can't take him away from me. Did your lawyer tell you that one? That's not true. They're going to take your son. It doesn't matter how much money you got. They're going to take him away. You put him in danger. Do you understand that? I didn't mean to. I know. I know you didn't. But they're not going to see it like that. You're his mother. Whatever happens to him, you're responsible. I know. I, I feel sick about leaving him alone. I'll never do it again. Never. I, I promise. OK, well, I might be able to help you keep your son. Oh, you could help. Two things. One, drop this lawsuit. Two, where's Owen? I know where Owen is. You know, Kathy. Frank Leo. Elliot Buell. How are you? It's a one-time offer, Kathy. Frank, I have to ask you now. Speak to my client. Okay, they're ready. Why shouldn't I have some money, Frank? Why can't I get a break for once in my life? It's, it's my turn now. I've never had anything in my life. You have your son. I will have him. Kathy, those officers are going to go to jail for doing the right thing. Go ahead, man. They're the ones that hurt him. His MRI shows he's got a... He's got a fractured spine caused by those two guys carrying him down the stairs. That's enough. OK, buddy. 